You talk about potential growth opportunities for the industry as a result of US and UK energy policy, the need for energy security, and the need to address climate change. So what are we looking at here? Well, I think it's still early days. However, you know, there are things very recently that are happening. Here in the UK, you've got the national policy statements by the government released around the new planning regime, talking about new nuclear, talking about the reinforcements required for offshore wind. Recently, Ofgem put out a consultation on a billion pounds of extra investment required in the transmission system here in the UK. And if I look to the US, it's very clear that the President and the States are very enthusiastic about smart grid investments and recognising a need to invest in their infrastructure. So this is, continues to emerge, but there are clearly investment opportunities for the future. And how are National Grid approaching those opportunities? Well, when those opportunities are crystallised and we have clarity around the real financial requirements of each of those opportunities and the regulatory arrangements, we will do what we always do. We'll be very selective, we'll be very rigorous in our assessment of those. Do they provide to our investors safe, stable returns over the long term? And that's the way in which we'll make those decisions about which, if any, of those opportunities are sensible for National Grid and its investors. So can you give us any idea of the scale of the investment required and how you might fund that? Will you look to equity, for example? Well, I can't speculate on, on the scale. It's far too early. and This is still an emerging scene. But what we will do, when, when we look at those opportunities, we will be selective, as I said, and be very disciplined about the ones in which we decide are right for us. And the decision-making process around there will obviously think about how will they be financed. You know, that will all be part of the decision-making when that time comes, but, but we're not at that time yet.